I was searching for a navigation controller for Fusion 360, and I found 3D Connection Space Mouse, which is quite pricey. They are definitely professional products, but I don't want to spend that money for it. After some web browsing, I found this do-it-yourself project. This project is made by Salim Ben Bowes. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. So big thanks for sharing it. He also has a YouTube channel, so watch his video too and leave a like. It seems that there are all the info that you need and how to do it. It seems a problem-free project, so let's see how I did it and how much it cost. Parts 3D printed and supports remote, next thing I did was preparing parts for painting. You don't need to paint, but I would like to have smooth and nice surface. First I sanded parts with 150 sandpaper, then 320. Then I used spray putty to fill all the cracks and holes. Before I covered surfaces, I didn't want to spray on. Sanded all parts again, but this time with 500 sandpaper. I sprayed putty and sanded it down two times more. Then I used primer and sanded it once more with 800 grit sandpaper. For the paint, I used metallic effect black spray paint. I did three layers of paint total. I didn't use any varnish, but you can use if you like. Then was time to add heated inserts and first problem came up. I didn't check if my heated ins inserts suits for this project and they didn't. I had inserts which have much smaller outside diameter. The fix for that is difficult, just change how the diameter was smaller and print them again. But stupid me, I didn't check it before painting. I didn't want to do the sanding and painting again, so I came up with a solution. I printed spacers to change hole size. Other parts that I didn't paint, I just printed new ones with smaller holes. To avoid my mistake, do the heated inserts first, then paint it. Also, if you mess up installing inserts, you don't need to sand and paint again. Installing heated inserts didn't come out PTS, but they will do their jobs. I added 6 magnets as written in the instructions, and it seems that one is too much. They are same size as in the parts list. Took one off. Magnets stayed in place without glue nicely. The rest of the assembly went ok. I need some longer screws, but it was because I had different size heated inserts. If you don't have 3D printer, but you need something to 3D print, just type in pcbweight.com and start ordering your stuff. There are many different types of 3D printing you can choose from. Different materials, PCBWay also makes custom PCBs. They provide CNC milling series, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. Problem started happened when I wanted to upload code. First I got this error. 
To fix this error, you need to add two libraries. If you didn't find tiny USB mouse and keyboard, you can download it here also. You need to add PLE52 mouse and keyboard also. To install zip library, you need to open sketch, include library, add zip library. This problem was fixed, but now I add connection problem. To fix the problem, you need to enter boot mode on your board. To enter boot mode, you need to push and hold boot button and then push once reset, then you can release boot. So don't do what I did, upload code before full assembly. If you did it right, you will see this drive in your computer drivers list. Good instructions how to do it you can get from comment section, comment written by Sniff3D. Tools, USB stack needs to be Adafruit uh, tiny USB. You also need to select UF2 port from tools port. After dealing with these issues, I managed to upload the code. But problems didn't end there. Mouse started working and I was able to move cursor with it, but it lasted some seconds and it froze. Space mouse stopped working and I can't use my other mouse either. Cursor mode, but I was unable to click anything. I was able to use keyboard to sign out from the windows and sign in again. If it isn't not working for you, you need to restart to get it working. Then I tried this to fix it and it didn't work for me. I scrolled the comment section and I found a new code that fixed my problem. You need to modify it a little bit. You need to add space to void setup so they look like this. So it's working and no freezing happening anymore. Before you can use it in your software, you need to install custom add-ins for Fusion 360. You can change them, mark range and sensitivity if you want to or need. If your axes are rotating 90 degrees, you can rotate them bottom trunk apart to the next position inside the base. It takes some practice to get used to it. So let's see how much making it myself cost me. Adafruit RP2040 Magnetometer TLV 493T 595 4 pin cable 95 cents Pack of 6mm tactical button switches 250 Blue LED 5 pack 295 Rubber feet 95 cents Tweezers not needed but helps a lot 395 These parts were ordered from Adafruit shipping taxi to my country cost $13.88. Total is $59.09, which is €54.28. This package was sent from US to EU, so I needed to pay customs also, which was €10. 6 euro magnets, 6x2 mm, 498. I had set of springs, M2.5 heated inserts, and M2.5 screws already bought, so no extra cost this time. PL filament I had already, but it took about 121 grams, which cost around 1 euro 30 cents. 500 steel BBs cost 250, actually need a, about half of that. I bought 4 A4 sheet of sandpaper with different grid, it cost 6 euros. Spray putty 549, primer 352, metallic black paint 5. Wires I used were from my old project, so no extra cost there. So total cost for me was about uh, 93 euros. Actual cost is different because I didn't use all the things I bought. The cost to you depends where you buy the parts and what you already have. Also the shipping cost and taxes can be different to your country. It cost me more money than I thought at first, but still cheaper than to buy one. I can't say it's better or not because I have only used this space mouse. It could be nice to try 3D connection space mouse also. I am happy how it came out. It took me quite much time and some issues to make it, but it was nice to learn new things. This uh, do-it-yourself project is also nice because you can modify it easily, like an extra button or change the look of it. And again, big thanks to the creator of this project and also thanks to people who share fixes in the comments. Thanks for watching.